Good morning children. Welcome to computer online class. In continuation to chapter 8, today I will teach you more tags in HTML. So, the first tag that I will teach you today is heading tag. Heading tags are mainly used to emphasize the tag. Text. There are 6 heading levels from H1 to H6. H1 heading tab displays the text in the largest size and is mainly used for the main headings. The lower levels like the H5 or H6 are used for subheadings and less important things. As I have written here in the H1 tab keeps publishing void. So this text will appear as the main heading. Now the next tag is the paragraph tag. Paragraph tag is used to mark the beginning or beginning of a paragraph. And the P tag will indicate the beginning of the paragraph whereas the closing P tag will indicate the end of the paragraph. When we start another paragraph, the web browser will leave one line between the two paragraphs. We can also use align attribute with the paragraph tag and we can set the alignment of the paragraph also. For example, P align is equal to justify will set the alignment of the paragraph as the justified and P align is equal to left will set the alignment of the paragraph as left alignment. Now the next step that we will learn is the HR tag. HR tag is used to draw a horizontal line across the page. It is an empty tag so we can write it simply as HR. Then as a response of this tag we will get a horizontal line on the web page. The next tag is the bold tag. The bold tag is used when you want to display the text as bold and it is a container tag. So the example is bold tag. It is written HTML and introduction and this is the closing tag of the bold tag. So as a response of this you will get this line as the bold written on the web page. Now the next tag is the italic tag. As it names indicate, this marks up the text in the italic style. To draw the attention of the reader to the any important information, we can use I tag. And this I tag or italic tag is used in pair. So it is a container tag. So if you will write it like this, I HTML an introduction and then the closing tag of the italic tag. So as a response of this, you will get your text written in the italic style like it is displayed here. The next tag is the U tag. Whenever you want to display your text with the underline, then you can use U tag. So this is underline tag. So it is also a container tag. So whatever you will write in the U tag, then it will be displayed with the underline on the web page. This tag is the BR tag. Sometimes we require line breaks in our document. So as to end the lines. 
Sometimes we want to write short lines. For example, when we are writing poem or an address. Then to change the line, we have to use the VR tag. VR tag will split the line and display the text on the new line. Now, I will show you all these texts practically in a document. So, here I have written an HTML document in which all the texts that you have learned today are used. For example, here the as you know we will start with the HTML tag then head tag and in the head tag we will write the heading of the web browser, title of the web browser. So it is here creating paragraphs. So this you will see in the address bar. Then the head tag is closed. Then body tag will start and center tag will take the pointer at the center of the web page. Then paragraph tag and bold tag are used due to which these words will appear in the bold style. And in next line the paragraph will change as well as this line we will see. this line we will see in the with the underline because here underline tag is used and this line you will see in the italic style because we have enclosed it in the italics tag then the center tag is closed and body tag is closed just the html tag is closed now I will show you how it will appear on the web page. So first we will open the web browser Mozilla Firefox. Now here this is the main screen of Mozilla Firefox. So to open your HTML document you will press Ctrl plus O. So as a response of which the open dialog box will come in which you will select your HTML file. For example, I have selected this file that I have created just few minutes before then click to the open. You can see here all these are written at the center. The first line is with the bold effect. Next line is with the underline that we have used underline tag. And the last line is written with the italic style. So, and you can see here, this is the heading that you have written in the title tag. So, here you can see the use of bold tag center tag as well as you are looking to the use of underline tag and the italic tag. So children, rest of the tags I will teach you in the next video. Thank you children.